Hey everybody, quick uh, solar update. You can see that it's really overcast. There's uh, really no shadows, very little shadow. It's about 6.30 in the afternoon and uh, it's been like this all day because of the storm that's uh, going across the country. So it's totally cloudy. Uh, even, even so, uh, I've had the battery charger off because I've been using uh, obviously solar power. Uh, and I want my solar to charge my batteries so you can see that right now the batteries are uh, 25 and a half volts and the way that it's uh, overcharged right now uh, the system is uh, let me see it's kind of really hard to see here but I'm getting 61 volts coming in from this system here oops 61 volts here and uh, you know 0.6 amps coming out the system is pretty much uh, charged up uh, this one here is asking me for the voltage I'm gonna have to redo this I don't know why that's uh, uh, not set up right now so I gotta look and see what password I put in it but anyways the the point that I'm making is that uh, the charger is on standby and it's at 25 and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the charger on right now, and uh, it's charging, as you can see, uh, from the street. Uh, but the uh, the magnetic inverter is not on right now because uh, I don't want to drain my batteries. We'll go on vacation tomorrow, and uh, <coughs> I don't know, you know, how long we're gonna be with. Uh, overcast skies so uh, I want to make sure that I don't use any solar power because uh, when I tr turn this breaker off there's no fail back and I don't want to come home to uh, you know defrosted food or anything like that uh, since I made my system uh, Outback has come up with a with a new uh, design uh, where you can actually use a battery bank like this and uh, are also able to grid tie and on the only time that you use the batteries if you actually have an outage the way that I do it I have to actually simulate simulate an outage by turning that breaker off but uh, essentially this is what you're looking at right now is we were at 25.5 is charging to 27.7 and this will stabilize about 27 and a half and that's because uh, you know we used power all night last night and I've had it uh, charging without this charge just with the the power that we're getting from the overcast sky uh, all day so anyways I thought I'd do a quick video before we go on vacation and uh, the batteries are after three years uh, are doing quite well I'm very very happy as you can see the date on the battery is 510 uh, 510 on that one and uh, this one is 1109 uh, I actually bought my batteries on May of 2010 so we're three years exactly after I bought them and these batteries have worked flawlessly and we put them through you know through their paces because I use them every single day uh, the only time that uh, that I don't use them uh, too much is when in the winter time they don't get used as much uh, I rely uh, more on the street power and the turbines once I get those up again and that's really where I get most of my power during the winter time but uh, having that uh, a battery lifesaver this is a forklift model which is made for very high capacity systems like this one where I have one string here in parallel to the other string to the other string down there and those batteries were put in these are two years old these are three years old uh, but I mean I cannot complain this these things have been uh, absolutely wonderful for, for the price that I paid for them they're gonna go really strong uh, I, I suspect that I should get uh, easy you know five six years worth of battery power if not more out of these batteries uh, if I didn't use them the way that I'm using them and just kept them for standby easily this could be 10 15 year batteries so anyways I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, you know how that system is working and uh, when I come back from vacation, I'll do a more in-depth video. So God bless and take care. All right, just thought I'd do a quick update. Uh, uh, I had a notice that I had turned that breaker off and uh, my system was confused. So there it is right now. 
is charging 2.2 amps, uh, 49 volts, 50 volts coming in, uh, 26 volts, 26.2 going out, charging about two and a half amps. Uh, I went ahead and turned off this battery charger, this three battery charger, so you can see it's standby, and it's risen to 26.3, so uh, I it seems like uh, my wife or somebody accidentally must have turned that off when they weren't supposed to. That must have happened today, because this was working fine just yesterday. So anyways, there's the, uh, there's that system working. And then there's these other uh, panels here. There's uh, about a kilowatt of panels uh, in this one here. And uh, this one here should have uh, a higher voltage than that. But it's, uh, and so with this one here, but it's pretty cloudy. So our voltage is gonna, not going to be as high as it otherwise would be. So things are looking good. Uh, it's charging properly and uh, I'm happy with it. So uh, that's kind of what you can expect even on a cloudy day like, like it is today. Uh, let me see if you can see out here better. There's uh, windows really, really dirty, but uh, you know, it's you can still get a good charge out there. And hopefully when I come back, I will finish uh, the uh, wind towers, there's two now in there, and I will finish putting that up and setting it up. It just takes time to get all these projects finally finished up. So, thanks everybody, God bless, and take care.